Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 10. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, so today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the A licenses. First off, is the 400 meter stopping challenge. Right, so we are here on the A1 400 meter stopping challenge at the Top Gear test track. Let's do this. Let's see if we can do this. Listen to that car. Go. We're still in a manual gearbox, aren't we? From last episode. Forgot about that. Right, let's go. Too far, too far, too far. Completely messed that up. So, what we're sort of having to do then, I'm guessing it's working out like breaking time, so... I would say at 12 seconds we should probably start breaking. Eleven, twelve. Very close, but 12, maybe 11.8, I would say, should get us gold medal then. Okay, right, six. I'm literally not even looking at anything other than the time. Ah, oh, three, three, one, six. Oh no, 332 was the final result. It said 316 in the corner though. Hmm. I'll, t I'll take that though for a attempt. For an attempt. Right, so we are on to our next challenge, which is approaching a blind corner. Which is interesting. Let's do this. Right, so we're obviously having to focus on shifting as well. That was a very blind corner, actually. How do we do so bad, then? How do we mess that up so much that we got a we were a whole second behind silver? That time was looking so well. It was looking very good. We'll give it one more shot. Um, there is obviously the demonstrations as well uh, that we can take a look at. Um, but I feel like doing sort of like a Gran Turismo 5 live stream of this would be really fun. Okay, we went much wider that time. And we've gotten more speed going into the second corner. We are ahead. 27.8. I'll say for... Between how much? Point six of a second gained. I think that's all right. We'll give it one more attempt, because why not? I feel like maybe the second breaking zone we don't need then. Right, so shifting down into third. Yeah, no, we're not getting much better. We're not getting much better at all. Yeah, not a chance. Not a chance is that happening. Uh, shifting over to the next challenge then. Right, so we are here on A3. This is a cone slalom. Let's give this a try then. Right. 
Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Did we? Oh, we are so close. We could actually get silver. Silver shouldn't be too much of a problem for a cone slalom. If we are 0.1 second off without much, like, first try, a second attempt is mandatory at that point. Go, go, go. That clutch, though. I'm sorry. Whoever the AI driver is, you're pretty bad. Oh, no. Says me who just hit the cone. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, oh, no. I'm complete. Right, I think we may need to change the camera angle because it's a little bit difficult to see from here. this one. Perfect. Come on! Ah, oh, so close. I did tap the brake by accident when I was shifting gears. Um, so I think... Right, let's do this. Two, one, go. Nice, twenty point seven. I will take that. Silver medal, silver trophy, actually. Right, on to the, on to the next challenge. Let's go. Right, so we are on to challenge number four. We got to tackle the Monza Circuit Chicane, which shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. Because we've done a lot on Monza recently. Oh, listen to that turbo though. Right, coming to the braking zone. Bronze. We'll give it one more try because I did go very slow through that section. Um, but I feel like we could go a lot faster. A lot faster. Right, let's go. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Obviously, we are doing this with manual as well, so that adds an extra bit of challenge to it. Zero point eight two. Point zero eight two. Oh, we could we can do this. Right, one more go. Let's do this. Start. Right, so I think we're gonna have to break later and get off the brakes earlier. Yes, 946, get that silver. We're obviously not going for golds because that would take too long, way too long. Right, so we're on to the fifth challenge. We're gonna be tackling continuous urban right angled corners. That's a bit of a mouthful to say. Right, let's go. Perfect. Oh, we 
just so close to gold for that one. We could try that again. We'll give it one attempt. See if we can get gold with one attempt. Right. Go, 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 go. Okay, we were very far off. We're going to have to retry that. Ah, oh, shite. We hit the wall. We hit the wall. Right. Perfect. Ah, oh, fuck. Point five four zero. Right, so we are here on challenge number six now. We got to tackle a set of undulating corners. That's a bit of a mouthful to say. Right, let's do this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Point zero 0.01. Ah, oh, that is so close. We could easily beat that in the future. Nicely done there. Right, on to the next license. Right, so for this challenge, we need to drive a mountainous dirt track. And this is obviously the seventh challenge. Oh, we're starting from standstill for this. Go, go, go. No way did we just get gold. No way. First try. Oh my god. 31.616. Nice. Passed it first try. Awesome. Right, on to the next one. I'm actually surprised that we got that. Right, so we are here for challenge number eight. We are going to be tackling the high speed Schumacher S. Let's do this. Right, here we go. Oh, went off the track there. Interesting. So this car has a lot less grip than I was expecting. Perfect. Terrible. Look at that time. 14.5. I'm not even bothering because that was like me trying to push it so we'll just go straight on to the next challenge challenge number nine right so for this challenge we're going to be using braking to overtake on the inside of a corner we're driving a citroen c4 for this oh and we got to overtake multiple cars ah. i have a feeling we're not going to get all three I forgot to shift up. Might have to retry that then. Right, so somehow we gotta use this braking. No way! 
No way did that just work. I will take gold for that. Nice. Awesome. On to the final challenge, I think. I think it's the final one. Uh, it should be the final one next. Yes, it is. Final challenge next. Let's go. Right, so we are doing a challenge now to try and overtake as many vehicles in one lap in this Mitsubishi Lancer. Let's do this. We're already going to get our first car as well. Goodbye, Sylvia. No, nope, not yet. Not yet. Come on. At some point. No way is a Sylvia overtaking us. Right, so on this corner... Right, so we've overtaken quite a few cars. We're going to be overtaking our older brother right now. Mitsubishi Lancer Evo... Oh! Oh, you can't hit into the cars. Shit. Right, let's go. I still don't get how the Sylvie is managing that. Let's go on to the brakes into fourth, keeping it behind the older brother here. Right, looking out for that braking zone. Jeez, that was close. And skyline in front of us there. Right, so we have a load of cars to overtake on this next corner. No way! Come on! He drove into me! Unreal. Come on, come on, we can do this. There was no point in shifting up a gear there. Here we go, perfect, come on. Oh, bit of contact going through there. Is it on the inside? Here we go, perfect. Stick it right behind the skyline here. This is our furthest we've actually gotten so far. We were eight at this position last time. What on earth are you doing? Don't get me disqualified. to get third. Mate, that's like the car in front, the Subaru Impreza, is equal to the Evo X. How are you supposed to overtake him? Oh well, we will take a bronze for that challenge because I'm not doing it again. <laughs> not going again. No way did we just get a Nissan Micra. That car looks amazing. Oh my god. Right, so for our next challenge, we are going to be taking this Mazda Roadster for a five-lap race around Sukuba, the Sukuba circuit. Um, so let's buy this. Let's see. Oh, look at that. 
The Mazda Roadster. So yes, we are going to use that car now. We are going to go and do some upgrades to it. Um, and as well, I'm going to change the color because I don't like the color. The color can go. We can get rid of that. Um, so let's go to a GT Auto first of all. Um, we are going to be fitting. We're going to be doing the oil change. Um, and then also we're going to see how expensive it is to overhaul the engine. Because if the engine overhaul is going to be too expensive, like no more than five grand, there's no point in doing it because the amount of power we will get is pointless. Um, we'll just go with a broken engine, pretty much. Um, so that is that done. Um, we're definitely going to paint the bodywork a different colour. Let's see what we have owned. We have quite a lot of colours. We do have that panther pink. No, I don't. It doesn't look like it would suit. Um, we could go with a green micro or a lightning yellow. What about silver? Mm, no, I don't think that would look good either. Um, maybe Rossa Scuderia, bright red. We'll go for that. Awesome. That looks good. I do like that um, Scuderia red. Um, how much is this going to cost? 6500 Oh, that's quite a lot. Um, why not? I think money is plentiful in um, Gran Turismo anyway, so we might as well. And out you come. Ta-da! Look at that. Um, are there any aero parts as well? We'll take a look at that. Uh, so we have no front bumper. We have no rear. But we do have wings. And I feel like a... L that one. I feel like we have to put a wing on this. Just because it looks so bad stock without a wing. We need something to accompany it. Uh, so once we've done this, we'll jump over to the tuning shop and grab some tuning parts as well. Um, we're going to need better tyres, definitely. So let's go over here and start off with engine, I think. Uh, here we go. Engine. Fit that. Perfect. And get in a sports ECU as well. Uh, we're going to go for exhaust. We're going to get in a sports exhaust. Perfect. Um, I think we also need the catalyst as well. Uh, here we go. Perfect. Sports catalytic converter. There we go. Um, and tyres. And I think that should be it. Sports softs. Always good. And do we put a turbo kit in? I feel like a low-end turbo kit should do. Awesome. Right. Let's go back to the home page. And let's go to the race. Um, amateur. And here it is. NRA Roadster Cup. Let's go. Right, so we are going on to a five-lap race on Sukuba. And the total race length will end up being at 6.35 miles. Let's do this. Hopefully our roadster is powerful enough that we can keep up. Let's go. Oh, it's got the pulling power. We're obviously still in manual transmission as well. Slowing down for this first corner. And the car is pulling in those corners there. Into second gear through here. 
Nicely done. Oh, very wide there. Perfect. That corner was very good through there. Nicely done. So uh, for the next episode, uh, which will be episode 11, we're going to be moving on to the uh, next stage, like the third series. So obviously we've done the first and the second. We'll then move on to the third one, um, I think maybe episode 16. We might go on to the fourth, roughly. Um, and by the time it comes to episode 20, I think we'll be on the extreme series. Awesome. Nicely done through those corners there. Onto the brakes into second gear for here. Rolling it round that corner. Nice. I have been playing um, through these loading screens a huge amount of Gran Turismo PSP still. Um, and honestly, the PSP version of Gran Turismo is a lot better than I remember it. Like, it's got so much content in it, but only a gigabyte file as well. Um, well, it's about 1.5 gigabytes, um, the entire of Gran Turismo PSP. But you have nearly, like, 700 cars, and it is a playable game. Okay, yes, I will say the graphics are terrible, but for a game that you can play on your phone, like, I'm running a PSP emulator on my phone called PPSSPP. Um, and it's a funny name. Um, but it is a really good emulator. And you can connect your Xbox controller to your phone and use that um, as sort of the controller rather than using the on-screen buttons. But being able to play Gran Turismo just quick, get the other controller out, play about half a lap on the loading screen and then continue with the recording session. It's just fills up your time and you're not just sat there waiting. Because I used to just sit there and wait and scroll through Twitter and stuff like that. But now I sort of don't have to do that anymore. And just playing Gran Turismo as well. The fact that it's a completely different platform as well means while I'm playing, say, Xbox games, playing Forza, waiting for stuff, just play some PSP. Why not? Oh, very wide through there. Perfect. Onto the brakes. One thing I never understood about Gran Turismo though is it's sort of like two stage braking techniques that it would always make you do. Like, for example, here's the first stage and then there's the second stage. It would always make you brake twice through most corners. Like why couldn't it just make you brake at the corner? It's, it's interesting. Oh, forgot to shift there. Awesome. Oh, we went very wide there. I started turning way too late. Nice. Nice coming out of that corner there. Perfect. 
Perfect. Coming out of the final corner now. And across the line. Finish. First place. Nicely done. Look at that. 5 minutes 44.4. We were probably about 20 seconds ahead. So, nice. And that's all the money we earned from that. So, I'm glad I didn't spend any more on that turbo kit. Because it just would have gone to waste. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places and also we have finally got merch down there so go check that out and if you want to help support the channel hit that join button it means the world to me and i will see you in the next one goodbye